Hi, superstars. It is time for math. And we are on lesson three eight. Look for and use structure. Let's look at this picture. Jackson decorates his sand castle with three shells. He has two colors of shells. How can he use a number pattern to show ways to make groups of three shells? So we're going to assume he has two colors. They said he has two colors of shells and he has three groups of each color. So we're going to show a number pattern showing the different ways we can make groups of three. So let's say he has one, these are going to be his group of red shells. And then he has another group of let's say blue shells. So we are going to show a number pattern of different ways to make groups of three shells using both colors. All right, so what we're gonna do first is, let's say we have three red shells. If we have one group that has three red shells, are we going to have any blue shells in that group? Remember, we want groups of three. So we would have zero blue shells. And that's one way to make one group of three. Another way, and again, we're making a pattern, would be to get two red shells and add one blue shell, and that gives us another group of three. All right, one more way would be to take one red shell and two blue shells, and that is still going to give us a group of three, but we have different colors in that group. So as you see, there's a pattern. For the red shells, it goes three, two, one. We're counting backwards. And for the blue shells, it's zero, one, two. So we're creating a pattern. So what do you think is gonna go in this last box? If we had one red shell and two blue shells, what do you think is the last way we can combine the two to make a group of three and continue our pattern. If we had zero red shells and three blue shells. So there's four different ways we can combine these shells and make groups of three. So this is a pattern. It's a number pattern. Let's move on to the next page. Okay, let's look at our first box here, right here. What do the yellow and red counters show? There's one counter for every shell. How can you see and use the counters to show different ways to make seven? So there's four yellow and three red. So we can show seven with two different colors. All right, let's look at our next box here. It says make a pattern. So the pattern shows different ways to make seven using yellow and red shells. So this is one way to make seven and we're using two different colors, red and yellow. So what are some different ways to make patterns? Well, if we look at the next row, we can see one, two, three, four, five yellow shells 
and two red shells make seven. If you continue to go down, you notice a pattern. One, two, three, four, yellow, and three, red. So we notice that one, two, three, four, five, six, we have six here, and we have one red. We have five yellow, and then we have two red. Then we keep going in a pattern, four yellow, three red. So if we look at our pattern, it's six, five, four, we're counting backwards. Over here, one, two, three, and so on. As we go down, we're going to see that the pattern continues. One, two, three, yellow, and four, red. Until we get down here, two, seven, red, and zero, I'm so, and zero yellow. So let's look over here. These are counters that are showing the different patterns, one counter for each shell. So this is a pattern. It is showing us different ways to make groups of seven. There are seven counters in each row. We're just using two different colors to show the different ways we can make seven. Let's look over here at number one. Down here, how can you color the pails to show different ways to make groups of six? So you're going to color and make a pattern to show a way to make a group of six. And then you're gonna write the number of red and yellow in each row. So one way to make six would be to color all of these yellow. Six yellow and zero red. Another way to make six would be to color five yellow and one red. Here is one and here is five. Let's go on to the next page. All right, so let's look at this page right here. Number two, and this is independent practice. We're continuing from our last problem. Let me show you right here. We started at number one and we were showing different ways to make groups of six. So here's number one. The first way was six yellow and zero red. So that was one way. And then we said five red, or I'm sorry, five yellow. Let's erase that. Five yellow, so let's color five of these yellow, one, two, three, four, five, and then we did one red. So we're gonna continue this to the next problem. So we have six, five, six yellow, then five yellow. And on this side, we have zero red, and one red. So we're gonna continue this pattern onto the next page. So let's go to the next page and continue the pattern that we were working on with number one. 
So we have these tails. We already showed six yellow and then five yellow. So what do you think the next number here is going to be? How many yellow? We did six, then we did five, and we're continuing our pattern to show different ways that we can show you six. So we're going to fill these two spaces with numbers. We had six and five. Now we should put four, four yellow. One, two, three, four, and how many red? One, two, so we're creating a pattern. It's, it might sound a little confusing, but hopefully with practice, you're gonna get this. What is the next number here? Remember, we're, we're putting a pattern together. So if we had six and five on the other page, the first page, now we have four, we're going to put three. So we're decreasing or taking one away in each row. So now we have three yellow and we now have three red. So it looks like we're taking one yellow away in each row and we're adding one red. What do you think is going to be the next number? We had four, then three, now it's two. We took away one yellow, two yellow. How many reds? One, two, three, four. So we added a red. Two, three, four. Do you see the pattern? All right, let's continue on the next row. One. We're taking one away. Now we have one, one yellow. And the rest are going to be red. So that will be five red. And the last one, zero yellow. And we will do all of them red. So zero yellow and six red. All right, let's go to our next page and continue working. You're doing a great job. I know this is a new concept, but with practice, you will get it. Just don't give up. Okay, over here, you're gonna do this on your own. So what you're going to do is you are going to write the number of red beach balls on the left, and you're going to count the number of blue beach balls and write the number on the right. You're gonna do that for each one, three, four, and five. And on the last one, what you're going to do you are going to draw a pattern for nine balls. You are going to draw another way to make this pattern continue. So look for the pattern as you're counting the red and blue balls. And for this last problem, let me get my pen here. For this last problem, you are going to continue the pattern to show me what comes next. So red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and you're going to continue over here to show me the last pattern that comes right after this one right here. So notice the number of red and continue it down. 
Good job, superstars. You're doing a great job. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.